about a year ago I had a new windscreen fitted to my Jaguar X Type 2.5 V6 and the guys did a really good job but the other day I was looking at it and I became concerned about the trim because the trim here now is raised up and it's raised up at both sides and I've been reading horror stories about how this lets water in and drowns the ECU So the ECU, the electronic control unit, controls the fuel injection and the ABS brakes and all sorts of other things on here. And it's situated down there. That's the back of it. So if you want to take it out of this unit, you have to take that um, harness out and then pull it out. It's a bit sort of grimy down there. It doesn't look soaked. I can't really see how the water can get under that plastic sheathing and down to it. But I'm going to take the plastic trim off and just have a look at what's underneath it. I also know that the air cabin filter is under here. So the windscreen trim is held on with speed fasteners and there's five of them. And I noticed that the guys who did the windscreen managed to lose the middle one so I'd have to replace it with a cheap Halfords one. And then the windscreen wipers have to come off. The plastic caps just lift up and then I just need a spanner to undo that and then another spanner just to prise those off. These 13mm nuts are easy enough to get off but what I've found is that I can't actually get the arm off. I haven't got a puller that will fit it and the old trick of using two spanners is just not working and I do not want to damage it. So I'm going to try taking all the other fasteners off and just lift it up from the front. These fasteners are easy enough to do. They just have a little key in the middle that you pop out with a flat headed screwdriver and then you can pull the whole thing out. So all five fasteners are out. They're easy enough to get out. They just pop out. But what I've noticed is that this doesn't just lift up. So there must be underneath something popped into the bodywork holding it in place and you can hear it clicking so I reckon just oh, don't like that sound so I've lifted this up and there you can see the filter that's the cabbing filter the pollen filter it's looking pretty black actually I probably have to re now having seen that have to change it um, and then I pulled this up and what I found is inside looking from the top down that there's a plastic seal here at this point is jammed in and it must be jammed in from where they've put in the new windscreen because that really doesn't want to come out right, I've managed to pull that seal out now you can see under here that this is actually pretty wet. See how much water's coming out of that bit of rubber. And the pollen filter really does need some work. But what I can't see is how the water would actually get down into the engine bay in order to get on the ECU. I'm just going to do a flood test and see where the water actually goes when it pours down the windscreen. Right, it went down this hole, which is part of the bracket for the bonnet, and then it went down there, and then you can see that the water can actually get down to where the ECU is. So it seems to me that if you filled that hole up, the water won't be able to get down the bottom. So the conclusion, of course, is that this plastic makes no difference whatsoever, because the water actually goes down there and down this hole and then it can reach down to the ECU.
My final conclusion will have to be that this can only get drowned if this is blocked up with debris and the water can't escape. Given that my car is nearly 17 years old and it hasn't happened yet, I don't think it's ever going to happen. So this must be something to do with local um, problems with getting leaves in the engine or rubbish. I have seen someone do a really good video on taking out the packing that is behind the wheel arch. Now I did start to have a go at that and then I realised I couldn't get any of the fastings off without destroying them. So I gave up. But you can see that the water is dripping out the bottom so it's not being held inside the wheel arch. Maybe that's a job that's already been done.